Yeah, because Emily Redman even texted Michelle Yowder and asked her in our PLC if that was true. And we were assured it was. Yeah. I'm, uh, again, guys, you know, I, I found this out yesterday. So I say that we try to focus on what we can, what we do have control over, and um, encourage our families if they've made a commitment to go to state testing to go. Um, and there are a few outs, meaning that if they are exposed to COVID or if they have COVID, then we can have that exemption is there. Um, and, and who knows, things could change coming, you know, around the corner too. We don't know. Things uh, from the State Department may change. I'm assuming that we have to have so many kids go um, is what I'm thinking, but they haven't communicated that. I think there's some behind the scenes things going on that they can't necessarily communicate to us. Um, and I know that they'll do all that, that they can to, to make it easier and better for you and, and for families, you know? So I, I do know that, but, um, I just I feel like we're being punished for double checking with our kids. I know. For, I understand. Before the 24th and we should have just let them not answer. And then after we got this, we could have answered with them. I know. <laughs> my, I, I, I'm right there with you, Susan. My that thought process is bonus. And I obviously haven't gotten bonus the way that it's intended, but um, bonus, we shouldn't be penalized for stuff we have no control over. Like financially, that's how I feel. Now, whether, you know, that's, I'm, I mean, like not testing our kids when we had an, uh, like a start to finish deadline, we didn't get it done. That's something we have control over. But them changing their minds or the situation in the state changing, like Texas just went mask free. Well, that's going to eliminate at least two of my kids. The moms, if they, if Oklahoma ends up doing that, then yeah, I'm just saying this is a scenario that could happen. And, right. and, and two of my kids are, my, that parent's going to say, nope, not doing it. <laughs> Again, guys, we have to focus on the things that we do have control over. Yeah. Some of those things that we, we don't, you know? Um, and so we have to just kind of let things happen. I mean, I, I know that's easy for me to say, but it, all this affects my bonus just like it does yours. I just want you to know that. I just, I mean, does anybody else have juniors that are not testing? Because I have three that are not testing. I had I one that many. didn't want to test, but, but for... I also have 17 juniors. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. I had one that didn't want to test, but for some reason it's still, I must have clicked it after the, the they locked it because I didn't know there was a lock date. Um, and 24. so she's going to end up having to go. I'm going to end up having to bring her because mom doesn't have a car. But How do you see that? Like, I can't see what my kids said. Oh, I, I have it. I can send it to you, Alicia. I'm, I'm adding it to your sheets that, I, that I've already shared with you guys as we meet. But um, I may go ahead and send it out today just to, so you'll have it. Okay. Yeah, I'm 